Hello, and welcome. In this video we will be looking over external referencing, also known as, XREFs, in AutoCAD. By the end, you will learn how to import different types of XREFs into your file, set them up in your drawing, and organize them. Before inserting our XREF, let's create a new layer to put the XREF on, and any other XREFs when we insert them into our drawing. To do this, prompt the Layer Properties Manager. From here, select a new layer by right-clicking on the Properties Manager, or click the new layer icon at the top of the window. Let's call this layer, XREF. Always make sure you have the XREF layer selected when inserting. Keep all of your XREFs in this layer to keep an organized drawing. Before referencing our external drawing, we need to make sure both of the files are set to the same units. In this case both of the files have their units set to meters so both files will be the same size when inserting. For this video, we will be working in this file with the overall plan and referencing in this plan, which is the lighting plan that accompanies this site. It is also important to keep both of the files saved in the same folder to keep things organized. If the location of a saved reference is ever moved to a different folder the reference may go missing until reloaded with a new path. By referencing the lighting into our base plan, we bring in all of the layers that come with the drawing. You can think of external references as a copy and paste of another file, but a copy that preserves all of the layers and information that come with it. XREFs allow one user to work in one file and simultaneously allow somebody else to work in another while both referencing each other's files into their own. Any changes made to either file can be reloaded and shown when referenced without the need to re-reference. Now let's bring up our XREF manager or simply hit the insert tab, click attach, and select your file to insert your XREF. If you are referencing another AutoCAD file as we are in this video, then you will be referencing in a DWG. Select whether your reference will be an attachment or overlay. If we select attachment, this means that when we take this drawing and try to reference it in another one then it will bring the file itself and all of the XREFs within it. An overlay is the opposite where the XREFs stay with the file and will not appear when referenced again. Insert your file and specify where you want it placed. In the case that you place your XREF and do not see it on your screen, try finding it by zoom and extents as it may have loaded away from your drawing. If you want to line up your XREF, choose a common point on both files such as a building edge or a property line. To delete or trim any unneeded lines from your referenced file, select your XREF and click a Create Clipping Boundary tab. When you do this you have a few options, let's select Polygonal. Now, draw in the area you would like to remain, as the boundary will delete anything outside of it that belongs to the external reference. If you just want to hide any XREF layers in paper space only, then place the layers on a layer that is turned off in the viewport by going to Layer Properties and checking the icon under Viewport Layer to freeze the layer inside your selected viewport. In the Layers Property Manager, we can see all of the layers that come with our XREF. We can turn on or off any layer we want and make any changes we want as we can with the layers in our original file. Now when we select our XREF we can choose to edit the file as it is inside our current file or open the original file and make changes from there. In the case that you need to update your XREF because a newer version was created or a new file was created and now the current one you have referenced is not the newest. Rather than deleting this XREF and re-referencing in a new one, we can right-click on the XREF and select New Path. This will allow us to select the newer file and keep it under the same name in our drawing. Keep in mind that if you want to send this file over to someone else for use, the XREFs will not appear unless the receiver has access to the server path that the XREF is saved to. If you are saving your work to your own computer this would occur. We can see where our XREFs are saved by the saved file path listed at the bottom. In order for someone to receive this drawing and the XREFs inside it, you will need to e-transmit this file to create a zip folder of all of the files within this drawing. Go to Publish, select eTransmit, hit OK, and you will start to create a folder with your original drawing and all of the XREFs within it. That concludes this AutoCAD in 5 video on XREFs. Thank you for watching, and if you learned something new and want more videos like this don't forget to like and subscribe for more.